So once you find a level that you pass, repeat it over and over, waste all of their energy. Tank battle is like an AFK idle game, I guess. Uh, you have six slots where you put the tanks in. And it's an NFT game, so yes, you could earn rewards. So let's get into to tank battle first, go over some information here from play to earn games. So they can tell us that the game is Binance and Solana. It, on the, it is Bitcoin, or not Bitcoin, but on the network. It is for Android, iOS, but iOS is not released yet. It will be released in the third quarter of 20 of this year, 2022. So it is NFT support, free to play and play to earn as well. It's got a really high social score as well, social score. And uh, the tank battle TBL, which is what it's called for tank battle, I guess. It is uh, 0.18. So we're talking about one cent right now. But you could see that it has increased in social score in the past few days. Um, let's go. Let me show you. And then once you do that, you upgrade them. And how to upgrade, you go to... Let me repeat that so you guys could see that again. You go to your lab. All right. Look for the lab in the map. You could see that uh, you pick your tank. You'll go here. You click upgrade. But when you upgrade, guys, don't forget to do the statistics because you get points to put into your masteries, which are right here. This is your points. You put them into your tank and they make them more powerful. Depending on what you choose, material, ammunition, frame, or technology. This one's health. This one's, uh, one's crit, one's health, one's damage, and one is uh, some AoE. Technology is AoE and... I'll sh you'll see it later on. Anyways, uh, you get to see all the statistics, <clears throat> all the level 2, all the level 3s, but a lot of functions are not active yet. So a lot of this is still under development. It will not be accessible whatsoever. So let's see what I did there. I clicked level up. Once your XP is at full, you level up, you use your coins, and you get a lot more power. By a lot, I mean a little. It's really nothing too noticeable, but it does help, especially in this game. This game gets really hard. That's why you have to keep traveling to this game. I'd say about every day, not every day, every 12 hours to empty out your energy. And once you empty out your energy, once you hit XP, you gotta upgrade or else your energy will not go past that. So you gotta keep upgrading there you go i'm upgrading my energy my technology here um i was blabbering on i guess uh i missed out what the whole thing was about so if you see here the potential guide is if you invest in material you get health and you get defense if you invest in ammunition you get attack you get pierce if you invest in frame you get critical you get evade if you get technology you get accuracy and aoe so here they suggest this one because of the type of tank i am using if you have a different tank it might be different for you uh, I only got these two tanks. I don't know if these are starter tanks or not. I'm guessing they are. But either way, what you want to do is you want to repeat the level over and over until you get enough enough XP to upgrade your tanks. Once your XP is full, you upgrade your tank. And then don't forget to set these points right here. Once you set those points right there, then you are your tank is... Uh, <clears throat> upgraded i guess so if you have any suggestions for me because like you i am new at this game and i would like uh suggestions to help me improve let me know if this helped you let me know in the comments i'll make more and uh tell me if you're still playing this game let's go back to before i let you guys go let's just see if there's any more information here so if we go to their tokenomics you'll see that it's tbl um, they're only providing, I guess, 4% initial supply, but total supply is 1 billion. 40% of it is going to game and staking. 
10% to reserve seed sales, 10% to private sales, 2 to public, 20 to team advisor, but most of their most of their uh currency is going into game and staking. Anyways, here's a timeline. So as you could see the Android version was released in quarter first quarter 2022, so that's where we are right now. We're kind of exiting that going into the second quarter which is why they got new tank models. Uh, PvP mode is coming and ranking. Tournament Season 1 is coming in the second quarter, so expect that. Third quarter is when the iOS version... So, so we're talking August, September. August, September, July. July, August, September, I guess. Expect an iOS release for iPhones and Apples. And on Q4, uh, I guess, they're wrapping up the game. Um, there's still a lot of functions missing from the game, so take this with a grain of salt, guys. I have no idea what's in the future, but this game is fun. Uh, it's it's still early, like I said, so I expect a, it to get a lot better than uh, what it is. Anyways, guys, we'll leave it at that. Till the next one, cheers.